Ibn Bisara, a contemporary to Mahavira and Buddha, who is a king of the Magadha kingdom, who is credited with establishing imperial dominance in the Indian subcontinent. Son of a minor king called Bhatia, he belonged to the Haryanka dynasty, which is said to be the second imperial dynasty of Magdha. It is only from Bibisara's reign that the historicity of different Indian kings can be verified with any certainty. Before the Haryanka dynasty, the accounts of various Indian kings are believed to be mythical by Sam. Bimbisara was born around 558 BC and ascended to the throne at the age of 15 in 543 BC. He established the Haryanka dynasty, laid the foundations of Magdha by fortification of a village which later became the city of Patliputra. Bimbisara's first capital was at Giri Vraja, identified with Rajagriha or current Rajgir. His expansion of the kingdom, especially his annexation of the kingdom of Anga to the east, is considered to have laid the foundations for the later expansion of the Mauryan Empire, including Ashoka's reign. Bimbisara used marriage alliances to strengthen his position. His first wife was Koshala Devi, the daughter of Maha Koshala, the king of Kosala and a sister of Prasenji. His bride brought him the city of Kashi as dowry. This marriage also ended the hostility between Magadha and Koshala and gave him a free hand in dealing with the other states. According to Jain tradition, he frequently visited Samavasarana of Lord Mahavira seeking answers to his queries. According to Buddhist tradition, he is also known for his cultural achievements and was a great friend and protector of the Buddha. Buddha was offered a forest monastery here by King Bimbisara. Bimbisara built the city of Rajagriha famous in Buddhist writings. As such, the city of Rajgir became one of Buddha's most important preaching locations. Bimbisara was succeeded on the throne by his son Ajatashatru, who murdered his father in 493 BC to obtain power. There are many other fascinating facts about this ruler along with his association with Jainism and Buddhism, but it's a topic for another video. Do you mention your thoughts in comments?